we're going to do a Roadrunner video. We're going uh, from Santa Vena to St. Julian's. Not sure then how the battery's going to go, so we'll see how it goes out. Maybe we'll drive a little bit through St. Julian's. We're going on the new road, past uh, the big swimming pool on the right, past the hospital, past the university, through the tunnels of the village, uh, then you've got Slimer on your right, Xera, then we're going to end up in Parcheville. We're going to drive a little bit through Parcheville and then we'll see how the battery goes. Hey, let's go! Okay guys, let's get, let's get going. I don't know if we're going to come across a lot of traffic. I was just uh, watching for that guy up on the left. You're going to see a bit of uh, Maltese driving as well. On the right is that brand new road they built. They had to do the bridge because it was collapsing the bridge. This is Santa Venera. Anyway, we're coming down now to Emsida. This is the way to go Emsida. But then we're going to do a right up over the top and head towards the university. Uh, we're going to go on the main road soon, so have to be careful because people come out of the junctions, they don't give a damn. I <laughs> hope you're enjoying the videos, guys. This is a Roadrunner video. Uh, maybe it was a bit of a difficult start because I couldn't find a place to park to put the equipment together. Anyway, we're on the main road. This We're going over a bridge now that was collapsing and they had to spend many months of securing it underneath. Uh, so we're going through the tunnels on the way to Parcheville, St. Julian's. If we've got enough battery, maybe we'll slip a bit down towards Slima. If you do a left here, you go up to the university and then and, uh, Matadei Hospital. We're going to go through the tunnels. Anytime you're in the tunnels here, guys, you'll get a ticket if you don't put your lights on. I'm going to put the lights on now. You have to put your lights on. Uh, there's no sign here, I think. But there's normally are signs to put your lights on when you go into tunnels. Uh, sometimes there's cameras on the other side, so they'll catch you anyway. This is going underneath the university. Brand new roads. I'm going a bit slow because uh, I might slow it a bit down on editing. I'm not sure how that would affect the... That might affect the voice though, because I couldn't do a voiceover. On the right, the swimming pool that's been there for many, many, many years. Now it's a sporting complex. And on the, on the left, Capara. St. George straight ahead, Gazira on the right hand side, you can go down to the ferry. This is the old road on the left hand side, it used to be a small flyover and a, a roundabout, I don't know any expats remember it. It was a really big problem for traffic. This was an island in the old days and they built a flyover now. We're passing uh, Capara on the left hand side, Gazira on the right, so we're almost in Slima now. But Slima, you have to go underneath the flyover, then uh, go off by the old stadium, the football stadium. Or you can head towards Parcheville. Hey, on the right hand side, you see that petrol station? I used to work in St. Julian's. I was coming home one night about 11 o'clock. And I see, I thought I was sleepy. I see all these cars going sideways down the hill. I thought, what the hell's going on there? There's something strange. This is what happens. Look, they pull out in front of you. But well, they go like about 10 miles an hour. Either make you do their speed or overtake you. <laughs> anyway, the, I was coming over the brow of the hill that we just passed and I saw these cars going down the hill sideways. I thought, am I sleepy? Because I did a whole full 12 hour shift. And the petrol, the guy of the tanker, I then kept a check on his meat and he was pumping the fuel out of the these are stupid things here in the middle of the road. I don't know, I quite know, to try and separate you. Anyway, another tunnel, guys. We're going underneath, I think this is called the village on top here. It's all part of uh, St. Julian's anyway, no? We're almost coming to, on the left-hand side, you can take a, a left there and go to Slima or come in the back end of Baluta Bay. 
you know, Baluta Bay, guys, I said, uh, you, head, you end up down by that old nightclub that used to be in Baluta Bay. Parchi on the right hand side, guys. This one's trying to podge in front. <laughs> You've got no chance, mate. Anyway, what we're going to do is go into Portugal. Let's go on the right hand side now. Let's get in front of that idiot. Quite calm the driving today, guys. There's those big tower on the right hand side. Can you take make it out? I'm not sure how I've got the camera angled. I think we've got enough battery to go down towards Slima. Shall we do that, guys? I've got enough petrol, enough battery. We're coming to Partival now. If you keep on going, you uh, go on the coast road, going down to our... Uh, that, if you want to go to Bujibba, that sort of thing. This is Partival on the right-hand side. There's a lot going on here. We have to stop traffic lights, obviously. Look at the traffic in front of us, guys. You can go to Pembroke if you go straight on, uh, that sort of area. There was a... I wanted to show you that building, but I'm not sure if it caught it. It's got a very narrow bottom and a big top. Uh, there was a big problem with planning and uh, there was too many floors and they wouldn't accept it so they revised the planning and they passed it through and now they revised the planning and they put the floors back on again and nobody said anything <laughs> only in mortar.com guys i hope the volume's coming this is a brand new microphone uh lapel mark because the other one uh it's wireless but here off we go we're off to going to st julian going down into st julian's this is going to be parchable on the left hand side uh, there's a lot of alterations going on here. The old uh, post office was knocked down and they're building uh, many flats. There's uh, Porto Masso right in front of us. The highest building at the moment of Malta. I don't know how many stores, how many floors. Tell me in the comments, guys, if you know. John Abel is going to be Googling it this very moment. <laughs> anyway, coming down into St. Julian's. Uh, we'll be heading towards Baluta Bay. It's changed so much here. Come in the evening, guys, you'll see. Oh, see so much here. So many people, so much traffic. And the roads just can't cope with it, eh? That's the problem. We did a little walk here, I think. Remember, guys, we walked up from the Baluta. More, more traffic. Many people in this area. Uh, the park is on the left, St. Julian's Park. You have to turn left to Porto Masso if you want to go down there. Uh, you want to park, obviously. I'm not sure what they do here. They put the traffic lights, but they put an island. So even though you get through the traffic lights, you still have to stop at the island. <laughs> Ooh, that's better. Sorry about that, guys. I jerked you a bit. Got your seatbelts on, guys. We're heading through St. Julian's on the way to the Baluta Bay. Uh, we're gonna. I think there's enough battery here, so we'll do a whole video of running down to Slima. We we'll go down to uh, the chalet. I think we can get that far. So this is St. Julian's, nice place to come. Plenty of takeaways, plenty of food. Partival is really good for the nightlife. Uh, Baluta Bay, on the, sorry, St. Julian's Bay on the left hand side. And we're heading towards Baluta. Oh, they changed that layout here. Oh, that's a new layout here. That's confusing, eh? St. Julian's Bay. Going down the promenade now, heading towards the bottom of Slima, to the point. This is the next one we're going to come to, uh, is Baluta Bay. We did a video from there before. Always a lot of traffic here, guys. The sun is blocked out because there's plenty of sun today. It's a beautiful blue sky, plenty of sunshine, but the buildings are quite high on the, on the right hand side. This guy wants to stop at the traffic lights and they're hungry. I don't believe some people. There's the uh, volleyball, uh, what do you call it, with the, with the water? <laughs> I don't think of the name, no. Not volleyball. It's called volleyball in the water as well. I don't know anyway. That's so driving around now for Baluta Bay. Shut up, Steve, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, they stopped. These, I like to see this. You've got a crane and you've got three wardens 
and nobody does anything it's just up to you you can go through and nobody but by law when you put a crane in the middle of the road you've got to have wardens you, and depends on how much road it blocks up it's depending on how many wardens but they just get together anyway this is Baluta Bay we did a Christmas one here remember guys it was very nice uh, the lights and uh, let's let this guy come through A has been Baluta Bay guys beautiful along here uh, and the church I want to get into that church I know I keep on telling you guys but it's very very beautiful but I've only seen uh, pictures oh what a sometimes they're surprised that the Englishman stops at the, cr <laughs> at the zebra crossing they don't know whether to cross or not can it be somebody cross somebody stop for me Anyway, we're in the way down. Baluta Bay, that was. We're driving all the way now on to Slima. Taslima. Next stop, Taslima. This way, should be getting a bit of traffic now, maybe. Into the darkness again. Because the sun is completely blotted out with these uh, big buildings. Many restaurants, Slima, guys. It's a good place to come. A little bit more expensive, maybe the maybe the most expensive place because Pujipa is a little bit cheaper. But it's an awesome place, lovely walk all the way down. You can walk all the way down to the shops and then you've got the, the strand uh, where or you can catch all the ferries from there. Lovely drive today guys, the temperature well over 20. Oh look on the right hand side, this is the one I'm going to try and take. It's like a tour. Now here we go. Uh, you can go from Valletta to St. Julian's, comes along the front. I must do it one afternoon. Uh, there's about one, three or four times uh, a day on an old bus. It's 3.50 one way and seven, I think it is, for the day return. Coming past an old tower on the left hand side. sure what they call that. Do they call it St. Julian's Tower, that one? You're not seeing the sea, I know, but look at the traffic, guys. And all the built-up area, all the way down. I think this was why I thought I'd carry on here. This would be quite interesting for expats to see how Slima has changed a lot. Uh, it's getting higher and higher. And there's a few little houses holding out, and they're like being bombarded from both sides. We're almost down by the chalet where we're going to finish. I'm not going to go any further because it's a bit awkward to go around the point. But I might do that another day. Let me just look at the battery. Shall I stick with it? Make it into about a 20 minute video? I'll go under the tunnels of the point and go to the strand. Shall I? I think that might be. Whoop. You coming out. Actually, you know, you see these uh, coming out. If you're not a bit uh, aggressive in Malta, you'll get nowhere. Don't sit at the crossings. Don't sit at the, uh, the junctions because nobody will give way to you. If you don't push out a little bit and uh, make somebody stop, that's about the only way you drive in motor. It's slightly aggressive driving. <laughs> We're going along the promenade now, Slima. Many kiosks on the left and the, and the right, and uh, you can go up to the, there's a private hospital on the right, you can go up there, right up on the hill. I'm sure many guys knows, uh, oh, there's loads, loads and loads of hotels in this area. Look how dull it is though, and there's a beautiful sun on the other side. Going over, what's this one called? For, Fortitza, eh? this is Fortitza Tower, English Tower, I think. I'm not sure if the Knights built it, and the, but the British were here as well, Fortitza. It's a, it was a restaurant now, it's changed into a restaurant. We're coming up on the left, is gonna be the chalet. It's very, very nice. Have a look at my old video about that. It was a, a dancing and entertainment uh, way back in the old days. Anybody remember the chalet guys? It was, uh, I don't know if it was a fire and then it was uh, partly knocked down and then it left a sort of, then they knocked it down again or sort of thing. And there was a very, very rich guy. He was thinking he's gonna rebuild it. But no, like a lot of pie in the sky, maybe it costs a lot of money. The trouble is now, once you get a project like that, uh, they hold you on a lot of planning and the, the red tape. 
and sometimes these rich guys they give up in the end because there's so much red tape around doing a, something like the chalet nobody's interested for for many many years and then when somebody shows a little bit of interest they say oh you know you've got to do it this way and you've got to do it that way and oh no you can't do it that way and in the end this guy that's going to put in millions he gives up he says oh if it's going to be all that complications i'm not going to even bother here is a bit uh a lot of traffic coming in and out from the different areas so we're stuck in traffic maybe i'll put a pause because i'm going to get stuck at the someone wants to cross as well i think paluna on the left on the right hand side paluna hotel it's been recently refurbed so I, I don't know tell me guys if it's nice have you been in lately probably not lately but before, last year did you come over and see it it used to have a anybody remember this guys under the paluna used to have a hamburger joint I used to come in here and it was was the first place in Malta there when they used to do a hamburger and they used to put a lot of salad with it and and these sort of uh, gherkins and things like that it really caught on and, and there used to be loads and loads of traffic I don't know what happened to it. the days when I used to come over in the 70s I'm talking about really anyway that's Paluna it's just past Paluna Hotel now we're coming up uh, there's a probably that's what oh, I can see what the problem there's a crane there that's what's holding things up but we're gonna go to the left we're gonna go towards the point and come back round again the traffic is really piled up there going that's what's causing the hassle that crane I think or or maybe they're not letting us go over to the point I don't know I can't see anybody doing a left that John Taylor I didn't mention that on the right hand side is a very historic building I'm not sure if one of the British Colonel or something. Uh, I remember researching it a long time ago. It's still stuck there. What, and what they did, uh, he didn't want to knock down the place. I'm sure just before I was going slow, you see it is an old building, colonial sort of building. Well, well, he decided to stop here. Let's get around him. And uh, he didn't want to knock it down. So what they did is they built the flats on top of it, and he sold the airspace. So I'm sure you saw it, the building, and then on top of it is these modern flats. Even on the right hand side, it was the same sort of thing. It's a, it's a sort of building that's been uh, historic value. So they can't knock it down. So what they do is they build the flats on top of it so they don't knock down that. I don't know how that, how that phrases out because the whole character of the building is gone then. I might pause it for a few minutes, guys, because I'm stuck in traffic. It's a bit boring, you hear me blah, 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 blobbing. Once we get going again, I'll give you a shout. Okay, we're coming around the corner, but I can see, see there's more traffic because they've diverted everybody now to the point. So we're going to get stuck in a, quite a bit all the way down now. This is going towards the point. Uh, they did a big area. The point used to be the British, uh, I think it was the, the quarters for uh, for officers, was it guys? I can't remember, but there's a fort there as well, the point. Uh, actually, that was the point uh, where uh, the flag of the Maltese flag came about. I'll tell you about that another time, but it's uh, a lot of history on the point. It's got another name in it, I can't think of what the name is. We're coming round and what we're going to do, if you can see it on the right in front of us now. It's a big flat and shopping area. There's a video of the point as well. Oh, that looks interesting down there. They've redone that area, like a park area. I might do a walk along there on the left hand side. On the right now and right in front of us is the point. Hey, this is like a tour, guys. Eh? Don't forget to tip the driver, guys. <laughs> He's done a hard day's work. Don't forget to tip him as you're going out of the coach. There's a little hat on the way out. <laughs> this is underneath the point now, uh, another tunnel. You can, it's like a big car park as well. We're on the way to the strand. Hey, I like the idea about, I leave a, I leave a little hat for everybody to, as they're entering the, exiting the coach. <laughs> you gotta have a laugh, eh? This is on the strand now. We're going to be just come from underneath. We're right underneath the Point Shopping Centre and the flats complex and condominiums and all that business. On the right, there's a big hotel and they're refurbishing. Many people ask me about it. 
seafront tower. Somebody said, show me, Steve, about the seafront tower. I think I might do that after I've finished here. I might walk up again, Xera. Um, I forget who it is. I get so many messages. Go here, go here. Oh, Steve, can you, can you do this for me? Can you do that? It's impossible, guys. This is the strand now. We're on the way down to Manuel Island. I'm going to video that bit. Uh, we we'll stop. We we'll stop at Manuel Island, eh? I've showed you a lot of things. I think it's going to be about a 20-minute video. I might pause a little bit along the way because if it gets boring and a bit of traffic, that's is this crane on the left. They're doing this new ferry terminal. I think it's soon to be completed. So it'll be the one for uh, three villages and for Valletta, for th three cities. I think they're going to do. Uh, you shouldn't overtake from the inside. Sometimes they try and overtake you from the inside. And they don't like it when you pull over. I'm going to find a place here, I think, to park. Sometimes when you're driving along and they, uh, they don't like it when you're going too slow. And they try and cramp into people and try and... Uh, get to you on on the inside I mean, don't give us I don't give a damn about them there <laughs> and they don't like it when they can overtake you from the inside and you come to a junction and you've got the right of way anyway guys we're nearly here now Manuel Island coming up to Gzira uh, lots of lots of uh, lots of uh, hotels along here as well and you can get the ferry from here it's a lovely walk more traffic we're gonna cut here I think guys because it looks like is it traffic lights or is it just... I wanted to show you a little bit more. Oh, okay. It's just traffic lights. Lots of traffic here in uh, Slima. Oh, God. Slow going. traffic. Slim is always full of traffic though. A lot of people come through here going on towards uh, Tazbish, Imsida. Yeah, it's going to be full all the way along. Okay guys, we're going to finish here. I think we're going to... Yeah, it looks... Cra it's packed all the way. Uh. Thanks for joining me guys. We started at Santa Venera and we drove all the way down that uh, road. You know, you know, I can't think what the name is. It's a new road and new tunnels and new bridges all the way through the tunnels. Parchivils and Julians, uh, Baluta Bay. And then we end up in Gzira, almost at Manuel Island, but it looks like, looks like the traffic is completely blocked I've still here. got the clump on there. We made it guys, we're at Manuel Island. Sorry about that, a bit of traffic and it's still blocked solid all the way coming down to Gzira. Okay guys, thanks for following the video. Uh, road run a video, I thought you'd be interested, keep it going. I wanted to show you that new road, uh, that sort of tunnels and bridges and going through. Uh, they had some trouble as well going across and the EU helped. Thank you EU for your help. Uh, we finished off here, Manwell Island. Take care guys, see you soon. So please subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.